Howdy guys, got a new, huh, new chain from a bar, from my 28 inch, I got some uh, boards I want to do, and this one, no good, I mean it's good, this, this, this one, I'm mistaken, this one is good, fine, it's just for that 24 inch bar, it's absolutely perfect. That's got to be cleaned up. But this one, I was trying out something on the uh, on the grinder, and let's see if I can get you guys to see it. Let me get around here. No, it won't focus. Nope, okay, anyway, that chain, no good anymore. That. Okay, so, anyway, got to get this all cleaned up. Because, you know, I'm mailing these boards. That dust gets in here, and it doesn't want to, like, what I need to do is turn that air compressor on and blow it out. I think I'll do that. I think that's exactly what we'll do. Okay, guys. Well, that's uh, gearing up. See what happened here to me? Hold on. I was cutting some boards in the dark. Uh, what dark? It was just late. And the bar got hot. It wasn't oiling. And by the time I realized it, it was a little too late. You guys see that? There's nothing wrong with this bar. It's not warped. But the chain, the chain was no good. So, anyway, I'm just going to clean this up with a flat file. The edges, to make sure everything's good and clean it out. But I'll get back with you guys when that air compressor shuts off. Hey guys. So, uh, get my tripod. I've been over here. Right where we left it last time. We was cutting boards. That's got hard, super, super hard. Okay, anyway. As you guys know, I've been working every day. Today's my day off. It's Wednesday. Let's see. Get this tripod set just right. Okay. So, trying to get this set where I can mill some boards. If you don't have one of these little grease guns for your bar, if you got the, it's not a hard nose and it's got the roller sprocket, um, this helps a lot. As long as you don't put too much in, there's a little hole made specifically for this, and you just pump it in there. I put about three three pumps, boom, then it's out the other side. Wipe it off. Do this side got this hole too. Three little pumps, it's out the other side. Then I just spin it a little bit. There we go. Okay, well, that bar's cleaned up, we're not using it. You guys see, of course not, I still got to blow it out with the air, but it started getting hot because it wasn't getting no oil because the oiler on the bar, the oil holes got clogged up with that wet, um, What's that? Let me think of the wood. Um, I'll think of it in just a minute. <laughs> okay. Get that out of the way. Now, we'll take this here and blow this all out. Perfect. How's everybody doing? I've done clean this bar as far as the uh, taking the flat file to it and cleaning it up. Just needed to blow blow it out. Alright, now that's ready. 
That is ready to go. So, put that on here. And back that. I back it all the way, all the way up to the uh, sprocket. Then break my chain there. And would you believe it? I got it right my first time. <laughs> All right. We about to be cutting some boards. Just a minute. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna I usually guys what I usually do is cut every third tooth off the top of the tooth every third one um, I'm gonna leave this full high. I'm gonna leave it just like it is just absolutely leave it like it is yeah it's pretty Got to go way back. I forgot that's a brand new chain. Mm -hmm. Got a mess around here. I've got to get cleaned up. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. No, this is gonna get hot and stretch. I imagine first first time there, so I'm not gonna get it real tight because I know I'm gonna have to readjust, readjust it anyway. I'll get back with you guys in just a minute when I get this thing set up. Okay, guys, so I've got her in there. Tightening it up. Ah, oh, something I want to show you. This is what Bert was burning up my chain. Okay, so this is what I usually buy. What I usually buy. Okay. This is what I bought. Grabbed it off the shelf. It looks exactly the same. Except for... Tin weight. Same price, same color, same everything. But when this stuff comes out, it's like water. You're going to see it on the camera. Maybe. Maybe. Look at that. Nothing. It's like water. It, you... So, my oil. I, I had oil. I was oiling. Because I just put it in there and stuff wasn't working out right. And I was wondering, sure enough, the new oil I got, the wrong oil. And it's like water. It just absolutely got all. I mean, it was slinging so much just everywhere, all over the front of the saw. So, now I know what the deal was. Putting this in here. So, we got some poplar. We got some poplar that we're going to hit. What we got. I'm going to show you guys in just a minute. As a matter of fact, get that out of my way. Probably about like that be fine. Get this thing tightened up. I'll get this thing tightened up and I'll get back with you guys and we'll cut some poplar. Okay guys, here's the poplar. Chain, right? You see the chips is pulling out. 
Look what it was doing the other night. Before, oh, that was before, after. See the difference? It wasn't cutting at all. Now it's just pulling itself through there like nothing, like butter. Look at the purple in that. Man, I really hope that that camera is doing that justice. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Mm -mm -mm. That's not even the heart of it. That's the next cut will be hard. Woo! You guys, look at this poplar. Look at this. Lord, Lord, Lord. Wow. That is beautiful. All right, guys. This video is getting a little long, so I'm going to try to get it posted. If I go any longer, you know how it's going to be. So, everybody, have a good day. Hope you're doing good, feeling good. Peace out. Man, that's pretty. Wow.